Okay, we're back. Or I'm back, because it's only just me sitting alone in this still unfurnished apartment. I'm getting closer. There's a bookcase I have now that's there. There's going to be a desk here in a couple weeks, uh, where I'll probably start doing most of my filming from here on out. But until then, I got this little uh, chair in a corner. But uh, anyway, I'm here. I am back. I am here to finally finish these goddamn Daredevil reviews that I keep meaning to fucking do, and I keep putting it off because I get tired after work, and it's like, you know, I just don't want to sit in front of a camera and talk unless I have to, but it's like, no, we got Luke Cage coming out in a few weeks, and I just, I want to finish what I fucking started. So here I am, finally going to lock this down, get this done. We are here back, or I'm back, with Daredevil, Season 2, Episode 7, Semper something. I don't remember the full title of the episode. Either way, this is where they have the court trial of a century as uh, Matt Murdock and Foggy and Karen are desperately trying to come up with a defense for uh, the Punisher, who is just having none of their bullshit. <laughs> just keeps rejecting all of their ideas. It's, like, it's kind of great, to be entirely honest. Uh, just how just none of it he's having with any one of them. It's hilarious. Uh, but while that's going on, Elektra is still uh, rearing her ugly head, or very pretty head, I should say, uh, and trying to get Matt Murdock to deal with the the issue with the hand, where they're, uh, she's uncovering more shit, and they find a giant hole in the ground at the end, but that's, that's for next episode. Uh, but while that's going on, uh, Matt Merck is desperately trying to scramble these, uh, balance these two parts of his lives, and he's failing miserably. He's letting down Foggy, he's letting down Karen, his life is falling apart because of Elektra, and trying to balance all this ninja shit with Punisher shit. Uh, and he's not, do he's, not, he's not doing well in this episode, and uh, he ends up missing the opening argument that he was supposed to deliver at the beginning of the trial, so Foggy has to, he does that thing, you see in a lot of like movies and TV shows, where he start out nervously shifting through no cars, and then they also go, no, I got this, and throws the cards down, he gives this big dramatic impromptu speech, and everyone works, and everyone's like, oh my god, that was amazing, uh, it's a cliche I'm a sucker for, I'm not gonna lie, uh, so he does that, and it's See, I knew going into this uh, that Foggy was going to get pissed at Matt Murdock again because uh, I've been told about that before I got to this episode. Uh, and I've been told it's an annoyance, but if this, like, if it's really, like, all everything that's happened in this episode is the reason why Foggy's super pissed at Matt Murdock, I'm completely on Foggy's side on this. Matt Murdock is being a dick. <laughs> and, and not being a dick, just a fucking idiot. And, uh... He's just not doing, he just, he keeps making dumb decisions and dumb allocations of his time. The ninjas can wait for a day, dude. Uh, and he's just letting everyone down. He, I completely, 100% understand why Foggy is fucking pissed. And I have a hard time imagining anybody that wouldn't be fucking pissed. There's only so much you're willing to tolerate as far as, like, people's, like, things I don't tell you and, uh, just shit. They come with many not excuses, but shit they run into, then he's like, okay, enough is enough. I'm better off doing this without you. Uh, so, he, they get into a spat, understandably. I felt like this was much more uh, justified than in season one, where I felt like they were, they were just looking for excuses for me pissed. Like, the one that still gets me is like, you knew when I was lying to you? How dare you know when I was lying to you? That is such an invasion of my privacy. How dare you lie about knowing that I lied to you about stuff? It's like, fucking, you don't see the hypocrisy at all here, do you? Uh, but anywho. Uh, so, yeah, this is an okay episode. I mean, it, it gets better towards the end when you kind of get more of the conflict going on. Other than that, it's kind of your standard court drama kind of stuff. Uh, it's not a bad episode. It's not my favorite episode of the bunch. Um, but we do have a giant fuck-all hole uh, that, that looks interesting. I, I am... I'm digging the Daredevil costume more and more as I go along with the season. I feel it, it doesn't look as dorky in daylight as I felt like season one's co uh, costume kind of did. I think the f season one's costume looked bad. I just like, in hindsight, it did look a little dorky, but it looks better now. I'm still not 100% sold in the helmet, but it looks better. Uh, so that's stuff going on. Meanwhile, we got a giant fuck all hole, and uh, yeah, not a whole lot to say beyond that. So let's just get on with the next episode. Get this done. Bye bye. <laughs> 